Hi cuties, welcome to Daily Dose. How y'all doing? Today I wanted to show you the studio room. The studio room has been a kind of a mess lately and today I cleaned it all up in preparation for lots of projects happening soon, like the whole Etsy store thing. Um, but everything is pretty now. There's my sewing machine area. It's very nice, very nice. Tripod there. Yeah, it's being weird. And the set, as you all know, the lovely set is here. Uh, it's got little reorganizing stuff, especially my clothes in there. That's, that's my dresser. That's where I clean my clothes. Um, but I, that's, I organized it because I had clothes overflowing, you know? I hate that. Um, but the bigger thing was was this area, this crafty craft area. Um, these here are some lovely paints, as you can see. Look at these beautiful, beautiful paints that have gotten various colors. These are sample paints from Ace Hardware. Um, because they do these sample paints and then they you have to kind of get rid of them. So they keep them back and stuff and I get to, I got to go through a bunch and have paints for my wand making. It's exciting. So that's really fun. Yee, paints. So I'm going to use all these for wand making. They're pre-mixed. There's a lot of pre-mixed stuff, but I'm probably going to mix it further. Make it more wand-like. Um, because that's what I'm going to do. A lot of people ask me about this wands. So I figure, hey, I guess I should sell them. Um, along with that is my, here's my embroidery set here. It's very nice. This is where I keep all my floss, the embroidery floss. Yeah, it's colorful, beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna do some custom embroidery stuff because I like it. And then I have my beads, there's so many beads. So to make wands, as we said in the wand making video, you use beads and they are, yeah, beads and weird things to make shapes. I found a bunch of Butterflies, so I'm like, I can make a fairy wand or something. Um, I picked, these I picked up for beads. To create some neat shapes and stuff. So this whole room has now been revamped as all. Studio is over here. And there's sewing over there. Okay, so wait, let's go back. Studio. Uh, sewing. Beads and embroidery. Spinning circle area. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So I picked up those paints yesterday when I drove, for the first time ever, a stick shift. And that's what I was telling you guys when I was doing the gas mask voice. Um, I, was, I drove my dad's truck, which is a stick shift, and I've never driven that before. I don't know how to. Uh, and so he's been teaching me because I have no car. And that's the only car that sticks around here all the time. So I'm trapped unless I learn stick shift. So we're learning that now. I didn't do as bad as I thought I would. Uh, but I did stall the car a few times. And stuff like that. I think somebody just came upstairs. Somebody just came upstairs. I'm gonna die. Serial killer. <sighs> okay. Um, but question of the day, because I'm going to start my uh, Etsy store soon, is, is what, because I want to have some inventory up already, of uh, what is a fun idea you think for having a phrase for embroidery done? Because lately, well, most of my embroidery that I've done have had, you know, the F word in it. <laughs> uh, so my, my Etsy store is probably going to end up being called um, Cursive Curses. Kind of a play on words thing. Or just cursive, but with certain things capitalized and stuff. So, yeah. It's still working on that. Still working. But what is a fun phrase that you would like to see beautifully embroidered that that you might hang on your wall? That's That's the question of the day. So, or, or even a picture. What picture would you like on your wall? It can be something really weird, because I like doing really weird embroidery. That's what I'm good at. So, I'm good to go. That's, you, that's your question of the day. I will see you tomorrow. Go to the main channel, because Drama Monday's back on the main channel. I'll see you tomorrow, cuties. Bye!